Now, before you all start running for the hills, shouting Walt's imagination has lost his mind and is using singletons, or flame me so bad in the comments my wife wouldn't recognize me through the third degree burns, let me explain what this video is about. This isn't your normal singleton video. This is a scriptable singleton video. Now, what's a scriptable singleton, I hear you shout? Pitchfork's still at the ready. Well, put basically, it allows you to serialize data for your tools and custom settings that survive assembly reloading, and with a special attribute that I will show you, it will also survive reloads of the editor as well. So, have you ever wondered how to create your own settings file under the project settings folder? Well, I'm about to enlighten you. Now, the example we're gonna be using for this video is using the scene selection overlay tool. And it has a particular setting that enables you to decide whether you're going to have the additive option on, where there's a sub menu that comes up saying whether you wanna load the scene single or additive, and if you have it off, it basically turns it off and just loads things single. So you don't have that sub menu. Now, if you haven't watched those videos, don't worry, I'll leave links in the description and you don't particularly need to know how that works to see how this scriptable singleton works. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna move this preference into the project settings and we're also going to save that into the project settings folder. So let's start by creating a C-sharp script and we call this C-sharp script scene selection overlay settings. We'll get that open in Visual Studio. And once it's open in here, we know it's a tool. So we want to put it in and get from the Unity editor. And this is actually going to derive from Scriptable Singleton. And we have to pass that the class. There we go. We can get rid of this model behavior code. Now, this is all well and good, but we actually want to be able to save this. We don't just want it to reload between assemblies. We want to actually save this particular thing. So we need to use the file path attribute. And what this does is it tells Unity, yeah, store this where I'm telling you to. And we need to use the save method on this particular class that we get from Scriptable Singleton to perform that save. So where are we gonna store this? Well, as I said before, I'm interested in sticking it with my other project settings under the project settings folder. And I'm gonna call it the same name as the class, and I'm gonna give it the file type asset. The next thing you need to do is tell it where it is relative to. And I'm gonna use the project folder. Now, this is the project folder root, obviously. But the preferences option you have under here will basically put it under users app data roaming. But I'm interested in this being in the project folder because I want it to get saved to my asset repository, whether that be Git or whatever, so other people can get these settings because I'm considering this a project setting whereas some tools will be preferences and you just want to save them in the preferences. Okay, now this works very much like you've seen in mono behaviors and scriptables and all the rest. We have a serialized field. Now this serialized field is going to be a ball and it's actually going to be the one we used previously, but we're gonna be removing this editor prefs and we're gonna be moving to the file. So I'm gonna use this particular variable name and I'm gonna say, I'm gonna default it to false because I, don't use addictive scenes very often, but you can use true, you do you. Now we're gonna encapsulate this to basically enable us to get and set it from outside of the actual class. And we're interested in changing this set method because it's not so simple. What we wanna do here, once I've cleaned up this code, there we go, is we want to say, okay, that's brilliant. You can set it to the value, but we want to save that value. So when we change it, we want to make the save. And that's a method we get when using the scriptable singleton. Now we send it true because that tells it that we want to save this as a text format file. But if you wanted to save space or whatever, because this is particularly big, you could save this as a binary and therefore you send false into this method. So that's all well and good, but it's not going to do anything for us yet because we're not actually using it. So let's jump into the settings provider and make some alterations. Now, obviously we're not gonna need this anymore because we're not using the editor prefs. We're going to be using our file. We get rid of that and now we've got some code errors because where are we getting this option from? Well, we're getting it from the instance of our scene selection overlay settings class. And that's what the scriptable singleton also gives us. It gives us the singleton instance, which seems pretty obvious. And we wanna do it here as well. Now at the moment, this particular settings provider is giving us that option in the preferences window, but we wanna have it in the settings window. And all we need to do is make one change here to project. And a shout out to the person in the comment from the last section who asked me how to do this. 
The next thing we want to do is, great, we've got it in the provider, but we need to set it in the tool. As you can see here, it's asking us where this is now. So again, we come into here and say it's under our singleton instance. We save all of our classes, jump back into Unity. And now, as you can see, our settings have changed and we've got our option under settings and it's no longer there in preferences. So I can have it ticked in here, come back into scene and we can see we've got our option, come back into project, you can untick it, come back into scene and now that extra option's gone because we don't want the additive. And just for those who want to know, you can actually find it here under our project settings folder. We have scene selection overlay settings. So that's where it says project root, project settings. Well, I apologize to all those hoping for a flame war on this one. Instead, put the energy into liking, subscribing, or duping devs into watching this video saying it will get their passion for or against singletons racing in the comments section. Or alternatively, just watch the video showing on screen and let any anger subside.